Morning everybody. Just want to say from the get-go, this is without question the most beautiful location I've ever explored in my life and even though this is a familiar area to me, this place in particular, this hill, well, it just takes your breath away. <sighs> oh my God, look at that. Come with me. We're gonna have a really interesting video today. I think you're gonna really like it. Come on. Wow, I think I'm in heaven with the gate shut. Um, I've never been to this view before and now I don't ever want to leave it. Um, we haven't even covered what we're really exploring today. Um, if you know me in my channel, you'll know that there's a couple of places that if I had the money I'd move to. One of them is Rye in East Sussex, which is literally where we are today. Uh, literally almost. Uh, and Glastonbury. Um, you know, and obviously I don't have any money, so if I did, then I'd move around here or up to Glastonbury, but I confess I've never been here before, and it has got everything, I, I mean, wow, this just justifies why I'd want to move here. So in front of this is a pet level, and the walk, and then you've got the coastal, pet level coastal battery, which we sort of, well, we've done before. Um, with the ancient forest. As you walk across, you're coming to the Camphan sites, etc., etc. As you turn round here, you end up in Winchelsea, which is just round there. And then beyond that, obviously, as we know, is Rye. But this view is... I mean, it's something else. You get to see the whole of the marsh. Oh, sorry. I've, and then obviously beyond that would be Hastings and Fairlight, just to put everything in context. I don't think, I've, I genuinely don't think I've ever been to somewhere as pretty as this, but pretty on a personal level as well. So let's talk about what we're actually exploring today as I get out of the shade. Sorry, the, the sun. Today we are covering, and I've probably said this loads of times on the channel, so... Uh, but this really is a rare site. So this is an observation post. And it feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. And in fact, if you didn't know the context of this, you'd feel it was quite alien in, in its sort of like where it was. It was also mislabeled at one point as being um, a uh, pillbox. But obviously we know it's definitely not a pillbox. It's an observation post. And I'm going to talk more about that as we uh, take a look. But this is part of the 1066 County Walk which I confess I've not really done. But this is our observation post, and it's a mighty impressive observation post, of which we are going to go in and explore in a minute. Okay. Right, so let's go inside, and then I'll tell you about the history of it, because it is absolutely fascinating. Come on. such a special place um so this observation post is really interesting because it marks one of the sort of interesting phases in world war ii namely that operation diver 
which was designed predominantly to suppress V V rockets really that were coming over. And in this vicinity, if you looked at an older map, there was four heavy anti-aircraft batteries within eye shot of this place and then there was about two light anti-aircraft batteries which i think were both as and then the heavy anti-aircraft batteries were probably 3.7 mark fours i think um and this observation post would have been at the central hub of its direction so this would have been as it says observing seeing completely out into the far, far distance. And I mean, I'm telling you now, the view is spectacular, as you can imagine, and it is a perfect viewpoint. I mean, it's beautiful. And then, like I said, just beyond that tree, just behind that would have been the um, infamous pet level coastal battery, which had its own observation post, and that had its own history, which, like I said, you know, is in a, another video of mine. But scattered all around here, Unfortunately, none of that survives now. None of the heavy anti-aircraft batteries survive at all. Um, most of them were semi-mobile anyway, so the idea was that obviously they could be pulled up, transported, placed, ready for for um, ready for defence, defensive use really. Um, but what remains is this concrete emplacement of this observation post and the people who would have been stationed here. Now this would have been very, very cold. Uh, it's obviously built of solid concrete, as you can see. And it is exactly what it is. And there is nothing more special about it in terms of its design. But because of where it's placed, because the fact that it survives makes it extremely rare, you wouldn't put an observation post or build an observation post here in a solid concrete base if there wasn't a chance that it would have been used in heavy usage. Um, otherwise, it just wouldn't be here. I think that's quite obvious for some people, but it's also quite interesting to bring that up. This was purpose built here to be used. Um, and obviously because of its size it's not that big it was probably quite easy to build as well and then considering most of the other diver batteries as we'll refer to them as um, had got their own little little emplacements themselves that this would have been at the central point of that so there would have been around two heavy anti-aircraft batteries to the left side of me and there would have been about two on the right and then it would have been I think there was about two light anti-aircraft batteries as well and and they would have been you, you would have seen them from here um, more importantly you would have heard them if they if they'd gone off and then like I said in coalition with or in conjunction with the pet level coastal battery which is obviously quite infamous around this area because of its underground sections and obviously there's an observation post there that's right by the sea as you, you know obviously we can see the sea here <laughs> but um it's just special it's really special and uh that it's it's in amazing condition more importantly i've just noticed a little um somebody's done a little arrow there nothing on the ground so it would have been a quite straightforward observation post there's some flowers and there's some random stuff here everybody like you know the randomness of things that you find um also a bit of food there but you know as you do <laughs> but yeah truly truly special sight But apart from pet level, coastal battery, nothing else in the vicinity, which what makes this really important. And then the next observation post was the post that we've uh, checked out, which is the rare one that was on the border of Kent looking at the Royal Military uh, Canal. I mean, it's a beautiful design. Uh, simple in its design as well, but simply beautiful. Quite well contained as well. 
and would have done an amazing job, I'm sure, because of the views that it had. I mean, even on a day like this, you can see for miles. It's so tranquil around here as well. It really is so peaceful. Oh, I love it. Really love it. Okay, so we just want to take a look from the outside properly now. You can see that obviously the way that it's been built, these huge concrete pillars almost pretty much going across interlaced. You can see where the moulding pretty much cuts in. So basically for most people it would be like these concrete Duplo bricks really. There's a thick concrete foundation, second section wall there. What I mean by that is that it's there's a huge almost rectangular block that surrounds that you've got some foundations down there then you've got a solid almost one piece concrete cap roof there as well and it's quite nice to spot we'll walk around Paul McCartney's windmills just up the road if you want a bit of a interesting viewpoint I don't know if you can see that actually there you go, Paul McCartney's with everybody, he's recording studio. But yeah, so that's our little entrance. Sorry it's coming out dark everyone, it's the light of the car. I'm filming this in winter time and the, uh, the light is ever changing. Look at this though, I mean it, it's a beautiful piece of history. And like I said, I confess that this is my first time coming here and yet not even a few miles away I'm in my favourite part of all of England really. <laughs> so it's nice that I've got to sort of tick a couple of things off the list today. Beautiful, isn't it? And really rare. We, we use that phrase, I use that phrase quite sparingly, I suppose, in a strange way, but recently... I've been really trying to find some interesting places for everybody um, because obviously it's Phoenix history and as I always mentioned before on this channel you know I want to try and give you some unique and interesting locations and places to discover and it really just ticks the brief really does I mean this is a proper observation post and I can understand where people get the confusion from. I understand that people would think it was a pillbox. And yeah, I mean, you know, in essence, it could... There was always notation with stuff like this that it could always be used as a form of defence if needed. If needed. But however, on this, I mean, it's, it's wide open. It's not going to really serve a huge purpose. It might stop as a, a form of sort of stopgap. But this also... Um, relates into the interesting part of the whole Hastings defensive network that would have been around here from Hastings through to this section of the coast really through to uh, Rye and onwards really uh, this part of East Sussex should I sort of say and obviously the next section would be on the outskirts of Rye as we go around towards Kent etc so this was a hugely important site but like I said because this was a dive this was part of the diver network it wouldn't have been shooting across, it would have been shooting up. So there you go. Hopefully I've given you some nice bits of information there. <laughs> Let's go out, come on. Well, as I head down from the observation post, so I sort of had a nice little moment to myself. There was some lovely benches there as part of the 1066 County Walk. Um, just 
it's to surmise it for me is different because my favourite place, like I've mentioned before, is Rye, just down the road. And the fact that I've never been to this place before really is quite a sort of nice thing for me to do. It gives me a nice excuse to come down here and go, God, do you know what? Literally up the road from my favourite place in the world ever is uh, this World War II piece of history that I didn't even know about until recently. So that was a bonus for me. And it really highlights how rare these observation posts are. And like I said before, you know, when they're built like that, in that design, it was purpose built for that. You know, it was purpose built because they knew that they were going to have this huge defensive network built around it. And that observation post, you know, I have to really put this into context. Observation posts are pretty much the most vital part of the whole defensive scheme because without the observation, it would be harder to track whatever's either coming on the shore or going overhead. In this case, this was obviously going overhead, but that would have served dual purpose. And obviously, especially with a pet level coastal battery down there, which would have defended at the coastal line, that observation post is obviously defending above. But what an incredible place. Sorry about the lighting today, everyone. The sun is slowly dying down before me. If you can see that, it's desperately tried to poke its head out today. But yeah, what what an incredible place. I mean, for a tiny piece of World War II history, and as I've mentioned before, how rare that is, and to put it into context of all the other sort of the gun batteries that were placed here, these, you know, these static ones that were here, and like the fact that none of those remain anymore. And like, I think there was, don't quote me heavily on this, but there was about four HAA gun batteries, heavy anti-aircraft ones, and then there was about two light anti-aircraft batteries within a stone's throw. And in fact, actually, I'm looking at one. I'm looking at where one would have been placed. There's a farmyard just there. And where that farmyard was, that was actually one of the heavy anti-aircraft batteries there. So if you put it into context and you look up the hill, there's our observation post on the corner there. There would have been more anti-aircraft batteries behind that, and obviously the pet level one just there. So, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> I mean, they had to be within a stone's throw of each other anyway. But the fact that that still survives in amazing condition... The only thing that saddens me is the litter. I mean, it is sad, but then I suppose when it's on a sort of country... County park, I think it's county, 1066 county. Um, or country? 1066 country walk, I think, maybe? don't know whether it's county or country on that so forgive me on that um that it's obviously it's prime for people to explore it because it's literally on that it's literally on the footpath it's just a shame that they have to leave the litter there though and a bit of food i was like what the hell but i suppose that's part of exploring isn't it you know even on a place like this somewhere that should be relatively straightforward you still find this amazing parts of habitation but the observation post itself was clean it was a beautiful structure it was really really nice and I'm so glad I got to explore it and come down to my favourite places. It was nice actually because the drive took us, uh, took me, it took me um, through Winchelsea, which obviously is next to Rye. And obviously, like I said, if I if I was rich, um, if I had money, I'd move down there in a heartbeat. Um, but sadly, sadly, I'm not rich, <laughs> so I just accept the where I am, and I'm very grateful for it, no matter what, you know. Um, but yeah, my ideal. Is literally around here, as I've probably mentioned many a time, so I don't want to bore anybody about it. But as I've always jokingly said, if you're rich and you'd like to buy me a house in Rye, then please do, that would be amazing. Um, come on, lottery. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, in the more words of Phoenix history, thank you so much for coming along with me on this tiny little uh, excursion out today. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Um, I found it fascinating. Another piece of rare World War II history, and, it re and like I said, it's genuinely a rare piece of history, ticks off the list. Thank you so much for coming along, Mia. Hopefully you really enjoyed this one. Stay safe no matter what you're doing, and again, thank you so much for your kindness, your support, and more importantly, for you lot spreading the word of the channel. If it wasn't for all of you out there doing that, I wouldn't be making these videos, and that's literally the, the sort of the end of it. If if you weren't out there doing that for me, if you weren't out there just being kind and showing your love and support, I wouldn't be making these videos. Um, I'd just be out there and just obviously working on my own mental health. So, thank you.
look after yourselves, everybody. In the more words of Phoenix history, because history matters. And didn't it just on that? I mean, you know, there are no other significant observation posts. But I suppose if you can call Pet Level and the whole coastal battery with the observation post up there, if you call that one, which is down the road, apart from the other one, which is our other rare observation post, which is on the opposite border of Kent, slash on the opposite side of Rye, by the Royal Military Canal. If you call it that, these are these are really, really rare. Um, and I'm not just saying that, it's true. To find a significant observation post. What I'll do is, to end the video, um, I will put that observation post in the link below. So if you haven't seen that one before, then please check that one out. And I'll obviously mention in that, I think about the fact that it's near Rye, it's literally a stone's throw away from Rye. In that instance one, that was a different type of observation post because it had dual purpose technically it was labeled as having dual purpose definitely defensive definitely a pillbox but also an observation post you'll, you'll find that out if you watch that video but labeled it, it's an observation post that's more defensive if that makes sense for its own thing i think i've made that clear maybe anyway love to all of you out there take care and i'll see you all very soon see ya pow